there's no sound. Oh my god. But, uh, it's, uh, oh, everything's right. That's all part of the fun, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he's, he looks all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we want to show you today uh, how you can have some fun uh, with the winter. And uh, it doesn't matter if you don't have any money. <laughs> You don't have to join an expensive ski club or any any such thing as that. Uh, uh, and it helps if you can't read. But even if you have just a cardboard box, I, I believe this is from a dryer or a washer, or uh, it might have just been the donuts that we got. And then into the box, you see, and then that... Uh, <laughs> Well, that wasn't that. No, you know, you don't want to go down on the, You want to go down uh, standing upright in, in, in the thing, and uh, Bill will show you. This is a lot of fun, because you really can't see what you're going to hit. You know? uh, well, that, that, was, that was Bill's top end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Bill, come on. Up you go, up you go, up you go. There he is. <laughs> well, we jam down there and flip him over, and away you go. Well, guys. Uh, <laughs> And here's another uh, inexpensive uh, slide you can use. Uh, this is a garbage can lid. Uh, and you know, there's the plastic propy popple 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 and that skids on. And this is a something I did. <laughs> Just to uh, you know, add another wrinkle. I thought I'd put them right into the can. <laughs> you know, it's uh, really where Bill belongs most of the time, anyhow. You know, and then this would make it more exciting for him, kind of like uh, Space Mountain at Disney World, you know. Oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> That'd make you dizzy, wouldn't it? I said, Bill, uh, when you finish, if you're okay, just give us the wave, you know? And uh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. It is winter. When people wave to you from the warmth of their cars or shout hello as they hurry by with their packages, but you can't answer because your tongue is frozen to your sleigh. <laughs> This is a time in the show where we uh, just take a minute out from the uh, entertainment and the pleasantries and, and have a chance just to be sort of bored out of our minds. Harold? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to talk about your first date. Okay, many of you, unlike me, have never been out on a real date with a girl. <laughs> okay, um, first things first, okay? Don't, do not try and kiss her in the hallway with her parents there. Don't. <laughs> Second, never make fun of people who play lotteries until you've ascertained if indeed uh, she plays lotteries. And the worst, who ever thought this could have happened, but it's horrible. Maybe her family makes her living selling lottery tickets. <laughs> and, and when you get out to the car and her foot's not in, inside the car, don't slam the door. Don't do that. Like, don't, like, maybe you think it's a seatbelt or something. You keep slamming it or something. It's not. Don't. It's a leg. It's smarts, according to people who have been there. And, and next, when um, you go out to dinner and say, say you don't have enough money to cover the bill, okay? Don't start crying. Don't. It doesn't help. Just be really cash and cool about it, right? Just say, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have gravy on my fries. <laughs> do that, right? You're out of the situation. Slack, right? Okay, then, you know what else you don't do? Don't go to a German art film and do not read the subtitles to her until she looks at you real sweet like and goes, Would you shut up? <laughs> don't do that. And, and then finally, when you're going home and, and, and you're kissing her goodnight and she doesn't want to, don't ask her why. <laughs> Believe me, it hurts. <laughs> Thank you. Don't go away. We've got the end of the Moose and Elvis story coming up. Inquiring minds don't care. Give me the fuel there, Max. The fuel. No, 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 no. But you, know, you spend a little time with these kids, and uh, before you know it, uh, you got to push down on that while you're turning it. Can't you read? <laughs> push down. No, no, push down harder while you're turning it. Turn that and push down. Push down and turn that. Turn, turn, push, yeah, push, push, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't knock it over. You do it all. You do it. I can. No, you do it. You do it. Okay, be careful. Careful. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. All right, all right, all right. All right. Put the lid on it. Put the lid on it. Put the lid on it. Right. I'm here today with a man who is living his dream. Uh, by day, he delivers food for people, and uh, on the weekend, uh, 
he drives his monster truck around uh, crushing cars. Uh, my good buddy, Dougie Franklin. Thank you, Red. As the sign says, I, I love this truck and I love the work I do in it. You should see the look on some of these people's faces when they see this this vehicle coming across their front lawn. It's a wonderful feeling. I'm being so high up, too, they don't even have to come downstairs for their dinner. I can just slip it right through the second story window to them. It's a convenient thing, but you know, Red, some of these people, they got nothing. They got no food, they got nothing. It's it, there's something wrong with the society when some people have so much and other people have so little. I mean, you know, it's like we got our priorities screwed up somewhere along the way. Oh, that is so true, Dougie. Yeah. 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 What, would a, what would a truck like this cost? <clears throat> uh, about 86000 uh, dollars <laughs> That's fully loaded, though. Yeah. I, I used to have a Honda Civic. Uh, we took her to uh, that tractor and truck pull thing, but uh, we, we didn't fare very well at all. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Dougie, there is uh, a lot more to this sport than just uh, lining up in front of a bunch of old cars and then uh, flying through the air and then uh, coming down and crushing them. No. No, about it. That'd, be, that'd sum her up in a nutshell, I think, what the sport's all about. But, you know, if I might just get serious for uh, just a second, uh, Red, I'd like to talk to you kids at home. You kids at home have got uh, an oversized truck uh, with humongo tires like this. You don't want to be trying the stuff that we do. You leave it to the professionals. Because you can get into, like, uh, uh, things that could happen to your head, and uh, you can deal with some head injuries. Uh, and, and, you, and your head could get, uh, you, can, you can hurt uh, heads. Would get injured very bad. Did I say that? I think I did. That, I, yeah, I, I was just, while you were speaking there, I was just wondering if maybe a seatbelt might be a good idea in a sport like oh, this. Oh, you, yeah, you bet your bottom dollar on that. Now, I have a seatbelt, but it's crawled and snuck back here into the crack of this seat here, and, and, and I can't get at it. it it's been, been welded into, into place. Oh. I can't get at it, but, you know, it's a safe, it is a safe sport, Red. I mean, nobody is going to get hurt. No. Unless, of course, they got their face staring up the barrel of my exhaust when I fire this baby up. Well, that set you free. I'll tell you, there's a story behind that one. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe some other time, huh? huh? I never knew two pays got so much money, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, that's Dougie Franklin, a man who's combined his hobby and his work into one huge, great, big, gigantic truck here. Or that they were flammable, too. That sucker... <laughs> Right off. He was a cue ball. He was a cue ball. <laughs> Unbelievable. This, you know, come in, looked like Tom Selleck, and he went out looking like Kojak. <laughs> After Moose Thompson had seen the ghost of Elvis, it kind of changed his personality. All right, I should say it, it got him a personality. <laughs> Put uh, rhinestones all over his plaid shirt and his hunting vest and, and his tent. <laughs> and he went around saying, well, thank you very much, you know. And, uh, and he bought his mother a motor home. They called it Greaseland. <laughs> now, now, we try to be tolerant of people for a couple of minutes or so, but I mean, it got to the point where he was really getting on our nerves. Uh, so we knocked him down, stepped on his face, and slandered his name all over the place. <laughs> and now he thinks he's Mama Cass. <laughs> anyway, uh, if my wife is watching, I'm going to be coming straight home, and uh, I decided not to put my hair into a ducktail because I, <clears throat> I couldn't get the duck to go for it. <laughs> anyway, uh, on behalf of myself uh, and... Harold. Yeah, close enough. And the rest of us <laughs> up at the lodge, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs> Yeah, I think you should. All right, let her go. Yeah, that's it. Now that's flying at its best, isn't it? You take this little extra time, and uh, the youngsters uh, get to have some fun, and uh, is it okay? Yeah, I don't know. we got some duct tape in the van here, and uh, whatever. Golly, I'm thirsty. Clean that up, William Max. Thank <laughs> you.